Okay, so today I'm going to teach you how to use mask and also how to lower an opa opa opacity of an image. So um, once again, we are uh, I have actually gotten some masks up on my screen already. We're going to be using this mask and we're going to be using this image here. So we're going to use this image here. Remember for the image, shift D to duplicate the image. So this way you have no chance of ruining your original image. Close out the other one. So this here, right here, will be the image that I'm going to be working on. This is going to be the mask that I'm going to be working on. This is a tutorial that I am work that I am actually designing myself. I'm not I don't really remember who has done this one. Uh this tube was tube by somebody. Let's see if I can come up with it so I can give them the proper credit. So I'm not sure if you can see it, but that is the person who created the tube. Now, one thing I always do when I start out, I always delete the water the watermark. Okay, we're going to go ahead and minimize these two. We're going to go up to File up here. We are going to click New, and once again. We over here. I'd always let you know I start by 500 by 500. I always do the raster background and then click OK. So the very first thing we're going to do is move our new blank canvas over that we're going to be working on. Okay. Now. <coughs> I always because I always tell everybody work on different layers and always save often. I'm not going to bother with saving this one for the simple fact that I'm just doing a quick short tutorial to show people how to do things. So the first thing I do is layer, new master layer. And once again, blend blend mode, we're going with normal opacity 100%, okay? Just the default way, we're going to click okay. So now you see we have raster 1, which is going to stay blank for now. We're going to have raster 2. Now, on raster one, and I really hope that I do not mess this up. I tell you what, on raster one, we're going to just keep that blank. Raster two, we are going to choose a gradient. Any gradient will do. Since I am just going to show you how to do it, I'm going to actually take out the angle of zero, put the angle at zero here, and I'm going to find us a very nice gradient to work with. I'm going to choose this gradient. I'm going to go over to my paint my flood fill, which looks like the paint bucket over here on your left hand side. You can eat and then uh, if you don't if you have color changer there, whatever you have, you want the flood fill. Or you can always click F on your keyboard is a shortcut. Take it over, make sure raster layer two is clicked, and let's fill it up. Oh, let's fill it in. I should have I'm sorry, right click since I have it up here in my uh, palette there. Now you see I just have the lovely pink. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to see what the name of my mask is. My mask name is Mask127 and it says by NB2007. Okay, so it's always good to give the people that have taken their time to create these lovely images the proper credit they deserve. So what we're going to do is layer Okay, up on your toolbar layer, and we're going to go to new mask layer right here, and then we're going to go over here to this little drop down menu. We're going to go by image. So you're going to get, Im you know, this right here where it says source window, and it's going to say image 2 in it, or whatever it's going to say. You want to use the drop down menu and make sure that the actual name of this mask over here has been selected. Source Luminance, and I have inverse ma Invert Mass Data, and then I click OK. Now, you see you have the lovely layering. Now, a lot of people, there's one or two ways now that you can remove the mask. OK, what I actually do is, uh, many times I'll actually arrange, um, Tell you what, I'm just going to delete the mask, okay? We're going to delete the mask, which is fine to do. Yes, because it's already been done. And then I'm going to go ahead and group this, these two together. 
Okay. So, once again, just bear with me. Merge. Say so if you go down to merge right here, you can merge the group. Okay, so now you're back to raster one and group raster two because this is an actual group. So if you want to, you can rename this. I will rename it mask. Now, you still have, you can actually now close out the mask that you had up there. And this is going to be, as I said, mask. And then you ha still have this here as clear. Now you can do so many things with this background layer. One thing you can do is give it another gradient behind it that may offshoot it, maybe a lovely pearl. Okay, so if I do the pearl up here, you can click F on your toolbar again and fill in right behind it. See how that brings that out? Now, what we're also going to do on this mask layer, make sure you click back on the mask layer again. We're going to go 3D effects, up here on the toolbar effects, 3D effects, drop shadow, and vertical, we're going to put two, horizontal two, we're going to do opacity of 25, my blur at 1449, my color black, okay. And you see how that brings that out a little bit. I'm afraid my shadowing might be a little off. So let's go, I mean, just play with your 3D effects, okay? Your drop shadow, eventually you're going to get it right. And so we're going to try lowering the opacity a little bit. Perfect. Once I lowered the opacity, it was just fine. So now we're going to do the drop shadow again at negative 2. Okay. There's no set way that you have to do this, okay? It just kind of gives it a little bit of um, if You don't even, you know, I think I'm going to go back and just keep it at the two. That way it stands out. Now, if you want to add an image, this is uh, for Phyllis now. I told you that I was going to show you how to do this. I'm going to copy, right-click on the image, copy. I'm going to bring back this layer right here. I'm going to go edit, paste as a new layer. And you see how that does it, but it's still, you see, I'm going to have to resize it because it's still a little bit too big. It does not all shoot that mask layer very well. So if I do image up here on your toolbar, resize, and I'm going to resize it probably 70%. See how that does. Make sure you do not have resize all layers check. So take the check mark out of re, uh, resize all layers. Click OK. And you see how that just kind of brings it out. Now to soften it, because Phyllis, you were talking about once you didn't do your mother's pick. So we're going to soften this by bringing down the opacity. See what I'm doing? Okay. And it's just right here where it says even blend mode, normal, or you can lock the layer. All I'm doing is this right here, and you can bring it as high or as low as you want to do. From here, you can frame the image and do whatever you want to do. And so that is our video tutorial for the day, and I hope you have enjoyed this, and I hope this has helped you. So um, I guess we will stop the video tutorial now.